Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader of the LYF uh, Flame 2. Let's get started. You need to have the main four files for rooting this uh, phone i have given the links in the description take your phone and switch this off and keep it aside okay now we need to get into this files so now extract the flame to drivers yeah extract here get into the adb driver and install the universal adb drivers and you get the repair you get the pop-up menu and press yes it's being installed yeah it's completed and get back and go to the vcom drivers and install this driver also you get another pop-up menu and press yes yeah it's successfully installed and get back to the flashing files this is the main one extract yeah it's extracted and get into the flashing files and you get the recovery image this is the main one and go back and you you have the flashing tool here yeah flashing tool this is this one this one is um, important system application where you can fly unlock the bootloader of your phone just tap enter yeah this sp tool flash file is for the mediatek chipset ones now keep it aside and let's go back again and this is a super su file and you get an uh, twrp routing in recovery image you should also flash this one yeah, extract here yeah I've done this one let's begin our routing we are completed the installing stuff and uh, take your data cable and plug it in your USB port yeah now take your switched off phone and uh, let's uh, boot into the recovery one now press the volume up button and the lock screen button at a time phone has got into the recovery mode look at this you get the recovery mode fast boot and normal mode and you need to have the volume volume rockers for navigating into the recovery mode press the volume up button and you get this recovery mode here and to get into it you need to press the lock screen it says volume down is okay okay let's get into recovery one yeah it's now in the recovery mode and just connect this uh, phone to your PC it's connected we have connected our device and get into the flashing tools and here is a recovery image and now get into the SP flash tool the main one and the tap on the file xt and uh, you need get scatter loading and you in the flashing files folder you have an uh, .txt file and load it into the scatter loading file and download agent and get into the sp flash tool dot exe window and you get the mdk all-in-one da dot bin 
fine okay let's load it and just tap on to the download the process is started now it's it's downloading the flash it's flashing and successful download is successful it gets a tick mark here i guess it's done and uh, now check our let's check our phone uh, see the condition of my phone i guess it's rebooting let's reboot here comes the boot admission Now my Android is loading with its app. You need to wait for a while. Hey guys, uh, in the last video I've showed you how how to uh, unlock the bootloader now we'll get into the root taxes before giving the root to my device i'll just back up my rom to back up my rom you need to get into the custom recovery mode for that just shut down the phone yeah now get into the recovery menu the main reason between the backing up the rom is that uh, you flash many modules uh, but uh, sometimes it gets bricked so before getting bricked uh, you need to back up this uh, rom so that you can get into the restore and uh, you get back your device so get into the backup and uh, you need to back up only the boot recovery logo and the system and the system image this is the main and data it's uh, optional so that you get the app guys we have completed our reboot uh, let's check it out uh, the super su app is somewhere here is it here it's not there it's yeah we have got it we have completed our root oh, thanks yeah we have got this now it's uh, successfully rooted mobile i have don't forget guys i have given the link in the description get into it download it please uh, check out the new cool hacking tutorials in my channels please subscribe my channel thank you guys hope you like it